Hey guys, my name is Sterling Rain from Logic Productions, and today I'm going to show you a video on how to track blood hits onto your character from Action Movie Essentials to Mocha and then to After Effects, or vice versa. So, what you want to first do is get your footage, and this is just me coming out of nowhere and going bang bang, get shot, and I fall over. So, what you want to do first, and I've already pre tracked mine, so you click the uh, source and then you go to composition add to render queue click on best settings and check out the frame rate so if it's 25 30 whatever unless you already know what it is click ok go to lossless if you want it as a video for windows which is what i always use but it can always be you know um photoshop png jpeg J jpeg works really well but i don't use it so it's up to you um, and then you just ch check your output, see where you want to go, and then we go and click render. So after that's done, you're going to go into Mocha, click file, open your project, oh wait, shit. click new project, find the clip to import, so mine's track, you click open, so whatever the project name you want it to be, so you go load. Um, <clears throat> and now it's saved onto your desktop or wherever you want it to go. Click next. And this is your first frame and last frame. You don't really want to change any of these unless you absolutely have to, but I suggest not to. Click next. And here, here's the most important part, your frames per second. Change that to whatever is your frames per second. Mine was 25. And don't really change any of this. I mean... There are other like tutorials about how to do this, so I wouldn't refer to mine mostly, but you know, here's just a quick thing, quick tip. So you click finish, <coughs> and it'll track your uh, what you want. So what you want to do next is uh, pick the X spline layer tool. Now what this does is creates a mask around or a track object around wherever you want to track. So you pick something that's easy to spot out, maybe like a crease, that, that, you know, or, you know, brown hair, hair, whatever. These two things, that's good for if you want to track, you know, just have a stable track. But we're picking this uh, watermark that we put in for the movie. Um, check through it, see if they don't move. And here it gets pretty dark, so you won't be able to track that, but we'll see how we go. So what you do is you click track forwards. And this will track the object, and with some luck, it'll track around the object and not move as much as you want to, because too much movement, it won't look very good. And then we get that annoying piece of shit, but it still works, it's just the last frame. So it comes up, goes around, and you can see, it moves with the body. See? Alright, and then they fall, and that's good. So then what you want to do is click Export Tracking Data. Then click co click Copy to Clipboard. And then go to After Effects. Go to Layer, New, Null Object. And press Control V. And this will track something onto the object, but it doesn't look good yet. So what you want to do, as you can see it's over here. What you want to do is press A. Make sure that not, not the entire thing is selected because then it'll delete every, you know, every it'll delete everything. So you click um, you click this stopwatch, and then you change the positions to zero and zero, and then it'll track around the body. The first part may not look good or whatever, but I've tried this a ton of times and every time it doesn't look too good. So <coughs> it tracks around, and here's for the fun part. You're gonna go to, you're gonna get out of After Effects, get out of this, unless you want to keep it open, you know, for something else. But I'll click OK, yep, get out of it. And that's just what I was watching over. And then you go to Video Copilot, Action Movie Essentials, or wherever you, it's located, it might still be on the disc, whatever. Go to Action Movie Essentials again, and then go to Blood, and go down to Blood Hit. And you click that. And you drag it into the project 
and then into the composition. And here's a nice little blood hit. So you can have it halfway, midway, whatever. Or well, the entire thing where it's kind of still drippy. And then what you do is you grab that, find the timeline where he gets hit, or wherever your character gets hit, and bring it over. You scale it down by pressing S, and then you just drag the um, positions down. Press R, you can rotate it. And here's the good bit, you click normal, and then change it to classic color bird. This makes it look really cool. And then you go, you parent it to the null, and then you click effect, blur and sharpen, box blur. Change it to maybe three, maybe more. It can, it can, you know, if you want it to look blurry, if you want it to look, you know, sharp, it can be sharp. It can be a big, ugly, horrible mess. But, and then basically, it follows you. See? So he's gonna come out bang and falls over. But of course, it doesn't always look good. As you can see, it moves up really high, just because my shoulder does. You go to press P. And you're gonna go click the stopwatch. And when it goes up, which is about here, just drag it down. Unless you don't get this problem, you might get this problem, you might not. And then it should stay prop proper and might not, you know. Okay, there we go. And he falls. You can add a ton of these, you can add like, you know, 100, whatever, as many as you want. And you can go like this. And just add like. So there's my tutorial on blood hits for tracking in Mocha. And of course, I'm doing this because I've looked all over YouTube, I've looked all over Vimeo, I've looked all over the. Well, I've looked all over Google and I can't find a good tutorial for blood hits for Mocha. So if you've seen it maybe on um, Corridor Digital's video with, um, you know, where he, the guy gets shot and it's on his chest, they don't really give n enough information. They're good, they're freaking awesome, but they don't give enough information for that part. So maybe if you want to look at this, um, it might not be the best because I'm still learning Mocha After Effects, I'm still learning everything. There's just too much to learn. So. Um, of course, you just get your blood bursts, you get your powder hits, whatever, and then enjoy. So.